Hey and welcome to the Mums Baby Chapter channel. My name is Beth, I am a midwife, a mother of four and a founder of the Mumps Baby Chapter. So these videos are your week by week pregnancy videos. So helping you feel uh, confident and reassured each week for your pregnancy and then also starting to help prepare you for birth and that postnatal period as well. Let's get started then. Go and grab yourself a cup of tea, get comfortable, and I will see you back here for week 30. Okay, week 30 then. So your baby weighs about 1.4 kilograms and is as big as a bunch of broccoli. So during week 30, your baby's brain is continuing to develop at a really rapid pace. It is at this week where your baby starts to put the connections in place to help regulate its own temperature. So it's just the connections going in place because actually even a newborn baby can still be quite rusty, uh, especially within that first 24 hours in regulating its own temperature. And if your baby is born on the earlier side, so, um, you know, uh, late in the third trimester, 37 weeks, 36 weeks, 35 weeks, uh, often these babies especially can struggle uh, to maintain uh, their temperature at a warm uh, level, 36.5 uh, to 37.5. So even though the connections are going in place, as you can see, they are still a little bit rusty at doing this uh, when they are born. Um, so you want to be thinking about packing in your hospital bag. Uh, when that time comes, uh, lots of hats and also some cardigans as well and a thin blanket so that you can layer and swaddle baby. These are things that you can do to help regulate your baby's temperature and also skin to skin. Skin to skin is a wonderful thing that you can do when your baby is born to help regulate your baby's temperature, heart rate, breathing, uh, and encourage lots of oxytocin hormones as well, which will help bonding, but also breastfeeding if you're planning on breastfeeding. Uh, just remember, or just as a fun fact, I suppose, um, for skin to skin to work to increase your baby's temperature, your temperature has actually got to be at a, a, a warmer level. Uh, if your temperature is uh, less than 36 or around the 36 mark, uh, then actually it may be that you're cooling your baby down uh, rather than uh, warming your baby up. So this is just something to keep in mind. So because these connections are start, starting to take place uh, in the thermoregulation, your baby will start to shed its lanugo. So this is like that hairy fuzziness that is covering your baby. Uh, your baby will start to sh uh, shed this uh, into the amniotic fluid. Even though your baby is starting to shed its lanugo, it still has a, a thick layer of vernix on its skin. Uh, so vernix is this white, thick, waxy type substance that, that can coat baby. Um, it starts at 19 weeks uh, and continues to build until 34 weeks. And then it pretty much stays the same and starts to absorb into their skin from that time. So at your 30, at week 30, even though the lanugo is going, your baby still has this vernix on his skin. And this vernix is to protect your baby from the fluids that is surrounding him. So it's to prevent your baby um, having those prune-like fe features from being in water for too long. It's a really, really rich, uh, full of antibodies and real soft for their skin as well. So if your baby comes out and is covered in vernix, remember you want to actually keep this vernix on their skin and it will absorb into their skin within, within the first 24 hours to 48 hours of them being here. So some pregnancy symptoms that you might start noticing now in your third time trimester is uh, bleeding gums. Um, so this is something that a lot of pregnant women report. Remember that when you are pregnant and for the first year after baby is born, you get free dental care. So make sure that you are taking advantage of this and booking an appointment to see your dentist, especially more so before baby comes. Another thing that you need to be doing now you're in your third trimester is sleeping on your left side. So Tommy's, uh, a charity that does a lot uh, for newborn babies, 
uh, they lead a sleep on the side campaign and this was launched after a fourth piece of research came out to show that actually sleeping on your back in the third trimester uh, can double your risk of uh, stillbirth so sleeping on your left side is is really important uh, now that you are 30 weeks and probably more so now that uh, since 28 weeks so in your third trimester sleep on your left side but if you're struggling to sleep on your left side so i know lots of women um worry that they wake up on their back this is okay if you wake up on your back. So the research looked at when women fall asleep. So we know that the position that you fall asleep in is actually the position in the night that you spend the most time in. So that's why it's always important to always go to sleep on your left. And then if you wake up on your back, that's fine. Just when you go back to sleep, make sure that you are uh, putting going back to sleep on your left side again. So out of those research, it was one research um, that suggested sleeping on your left. Um, the other three looked at sleeping on your side. So left side is optimum, um, but the other, si the other pieces of research do show a benefit of sleeping on your side, uh, right or left, compared to sleeping on your back. There are things that you can do if you're struggling to stay on your side. Um, so propping yourself up with pillows can be really helpful. Um, having pillows uh, to your back and then also in between your legs as well. And then also if you've got long hair, tying a, a bun, a low bun in the bottom a low bun <laughs> uh, can actually stop you going to sleep on your back or when you then fall onto your back that low bun can be really uncomfortable um, so it's something that can help you move so those are some um, tips and tricks to help sleeping on your left but do remember that it is just most important to go to sleep on your left and please don't worry if you do find yourself waking up on your back okay so let's head over to our pregnancy reporters and see how they are feeling in their 30th week of pregnancy hello i'm natalie i've been meaning to do this video all week for my 30th week <laughs> hi i'm currently 30 weeks pregnant i'm currently enjoying uh chocolate and relaxing I'm starting to really visualize baby being here I'm absolutely hating the need to get up so much in the night time and go for a wee. Uh, this week my partner's been away working, so I went to antenatal class and thankfully was able to take my younger sister, which was obviously really nice for her, she's really excited. And also we started on the nursery. That's, I'm really enjoying that. That's a really lovely project. <laughs> I've had really swollen ankles this week with the heat, so I tried to walk to the antenatal class to try and make them better. That didn't really work. I'm starting to get a weird pain. And a lot of the time it's if I bend over and then when I stand up it's like, oh. Or if I lift something a bit heavy, I keep seeing people mention pelvic girdle pain. I wonder if it's to do with that. I don't know. The worst symptom that I've had has been very tired and eating lots of chocolate. So I hope you found that really helpful and reassuring. Remember to like this video, subscribe to our channel and head back next week uh, to see what's in store for you for your week 31 of your pregnancy. You can head over to Instagram if you want to find out more birth tips from us and that is at the Mumps to Baby chapter and we are also on Facebook as well. Okay, I'll see you next week. Bye.